So, hello guys. Finally, um, I finished the mechanics completely for the original yokes. Um, some words about the mechanics. Um, for the yokes we have two movements. Uh, one axis is this one here for the uh, ailerons and uh, we have this nose up and nose down for the elevators. So the movement of these two axes is uh, um, like this. So the ailerons yeah, are here uh, connected to this shaft. The shaft is connected um, or synchronized, both columns are synchronized uh, with these uh, steel cables. Um, so they are interlinked. Um, I put in here these uh, plastic discs. Um, they will give some tension on the steel cable and will prevent that uh, these axes will spin through completely. And uh, thus they provide the um, the limit, yeah, the the, the, the yeah the limit and the, the so-called Anschlag, yeah, uh, of, of 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 these uh, turning axes. Good. Um, the signal of this movement is picked up here by this uh, tooth wheel. I made an installation here of a small uh, potentiometer, yeah. And with these tools, we signal is picked up and then uh, picked up in the end by um, a Leo Botner card, I think. Good. The other axis uh, nose up. And yeah, here you see it's uh, working really nice. Huh? It's just here for the. So yeah, yeah it moves. Okay. Um, this axis uh, is uh, putting the movement uh, via this adapter, this uh, bar here, uh, and here I have this metal piece. You know it from the last video. And uh, now the movement is transferred here via this small rod to this um, yeah, sliding potty. And here you can see how it works. Good. And this signal also will go to the Leo Botner card. Um, and this is how the uh, two axes are connected to the electronics. So I think uh, that's nearly all. Uh, one tip or one hint from my side: uh, if you make it, uh, if you make a mechanic like this, it's good to use um, these kinds of uh, adapter screws. These two screws they uh, define the the um, tilting angle of the yokes. There are in the original aircraft they are not perpendicular they are tilted slightly forward and I can adjust this uh, position via these two screws and uh, you have the um, travel movement of the yokes which in the original aircraft is about 10 degrees forward and 10 degrees backward and uh, my limit my limits are uh, made like this I just uh, put in two screws um, into this main rod here on the other side as well and um, by uh, screwing it in I can increase the um, the backward tilting angle of the yokes and on the other side I have another screw and screwing that down I can adjust the tilting angle forward of the yokes okay and um, yeah one last word of advice would be um, make sure all your screws are probably secured uh, with some um, screw uh, Loctite glue uh, because uh, the whole thing is under the main floor and if some screw gets loose and you need to fix it um, I think uh, it means you need to tear apart all the simulator to get access to these screws. Okay, so this is the yoke mechanic. Currently I'm working on the pedals as well. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.